Hey everybody, uh, in this episode I will be showing you what I usually carry with me, uh, luggage, backpacks and stuff like that, um, what I take with me when I travel, what I like to do uh, with those things, and why I actually have them. Hopefully this helps you out. So first things first, whenever people want to travel, what's the biggest thing? Luggage. Luggage, bags, whatever it may be, that's just how it is. And uh, for me, Personally, I totally like uh, having a soft shell bag. I might be switching to a hard shell with the easy rollers, but this is what I'm carrying right now. This is, this is from Mac. Yeah, for those of you in Canada know what that is. That's Mountain Equipment Co-op. Um, they have a nice 90 liter bag, soft shell cla clamshell design, um, easy rollers, pop up top, as you can see, and even has a backpack option. Heaven forbid I ever want to lug this thing on my back. So that's always a fun thing right there. Uh, another thing I like to personally do is bring a backpack. A lot of people like to bring on their carry-on luggage. Uh, I don't mind carrying things on my back. A lot of people are backpacking nowadays, especially younger people. Uh, I'm kind of like one of them, similar. Um, so what I like to carry is this. It's an old bag that I have. Uh, it's a Marmot uh, 35 liter. And the coolest thing about this is it's the size of a carry-on luggage. And what that means is that I can carry this on my back, I can slide it in. Uh, it's also a clamshell design, so it opens all the way and it opens with a flap. And with that, that makes everything a lot easier for me to go in, go out. Uh, if the TSA bothers me and asks me want to look through my bag, it's pretty easy to do. It's pretty easy to open. Everything's pretty there. There's a nice open pocket here. Bottle holders on either side. A uh, nice wrist or waist belt should I say, uh, chest strap, just to take a little bit of weight off me, just in case I do get some of those extra souvenirs that I possibly do want, then I am one of those souvenir-holics, you know, uh, that's just what I kind of like to do. Moving on to the next thing that I like to carry. Um, people like to fold their luggage whenever they're uh, traveling and all this stuff, how they just layer it and do all that kind of stuff. That's always kind of cool. I like to go super modular since there's no not really many pockets in any of these bags, especially in my backpack, which is also one of those things that you know has not many pockets. I like to carry these guys, and there's actually more to this than that. This is actually one of my packing cubes. The coolest thing about packing cubes is, like I said, modular, easy to do. So this one's pretty neat. You can hang up. Whenever you're not needing it on a coat rack or or any kind of rack like that, even on the back of a chair, which is kind of a cool thing. Uh, there's two smaller pockets. I usually like to keep um, socks and underwear in one, uh, house clothes in another, uh, some going out clothes if I want to here and stuff like that, depending where I go, how much I have to carry, and of course, the weather. Um, another thing I also have are the mini packs. So these are just great. I got this at sports check for those of you guys who are in Canada or I think there might be some in the US so make sure you guys check that out um, it's great it works uh, it's in Edge Creek I've used it for years uh, I've spilled things in it it's um, easy wash machine safe and you can you know just hang it up when you're when you're done which kind of has that nice little hook Put that off to the side I also have these as well also from Mac as you guys tell I, I love Mac to death but um, a lot of the products are great and reasonable price so that's always pretty good, pretty good here. So I've got this large bag, and I actually have two of them. Usually I use this for like my my jeans or something like that. And whenever I'm doing my jeans, I always make sure that I, you know, take a few just in case something happens or if one gets dirty. Depending on how many days I'm going, I'm only going for a week on my next. For my next bag, I also have two of these, but it also houses all the rest of my smaller bags as well. So. When it comes down to toiletries, I use this for my toiletry bag. Uh, I should take small bottles uh, that I can actually fit in here, and my cologne fits in here, my electric razor, because I, I do shave every year, every now and again. I do have two of these. I use one for toiletries, toothpaste, toothbrush, um, shower gels, <clears throat> a shampoo, you know, and uh, my hair gel, of course. I usually bring a small comb, uh, a little, kit for like my nail clippers, nail files just in case something happens, and uh, tweezers in case I get a splinter or something like that or whatever it is maybe. So this one, 
for my second one, I actually use it for first aid, uh, whether it be band-aids or if I use it for, uh, you know, Q-tips or anything like that, small bandages, you know, maybe something like that that I possibly will need while I'm going to hydrogen peroxide. Always good to have because you never know. I even bring gloves, uh, like Ziploc bags, always, always a must to bring one of these guys with you. Uh, make sure that you're safe, like depending where you're going, if you're going to Southeast Asia, if you're going to South America, even if you're going through packing through Europe and stuff like that, you never know when something could happen and there's nowhere else you can run to, there's no corner store or you just need like you accidentally slip and you bruise, you scrape or you cut yourself. Always one of those things you just want to make sure that you have. It's really small, inconvenient, easy to, easy to pack, you can pack that away and you're safe and you know for a fact that you have something. Also, emergency uh, contact information. You can make this out if you have like your your uh, medical insurance and all that stuff. Usually keep that in your wallet a little bit. You can also have another copy. You can laminate it or put it in like a, one of those little sleeves. It's in here with you just in case if you any other kind of medication. I usually have Advil or if I'm going out some reactant or something like that for my allergies or whatever maybe. Um, just to make sure that I have all that kind of stuff with me. If you are taking medication, make sure you bring extra and make sure you have your medical alert bracelets or whatever, just to make sure that if somebody does find you, if you're going with somebody, they know exactly what's going on when you have certain reactions, if you have allergies to food or whatever it may be. So always be safe. I have also medium ones as well. Now the medium ones are great. The medium ones are awesome. I like them mainly because this is for, uh, when I've traveled before in the past, I've had to bring a tux. Uh, it's it's always one of the things where I end up having to go do a wedding or something like that. So my pants and my shirt and my jacket and even my shoes will actually fit in these things. They expand quite a lot. Um, later on, I'll be able to show you what they look like when they're packed because I am going for a small trip. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be fun. There's going to be a lot more footage coming. But yeah, you can even pack your shoes in here and you'd be surprised. So once I have these guys all packed up, I'll show you the method that I use for storing all my clothing and stuff like that. I usually use the roll method, but I'll show you that uh, later on. But once these guys are fully packed, you can actually open, like they get pretty wide, fit into your luggage pretty well, and completely modular. You can pull one out if you need it, and leave the others in there. Like you only need going in clothes, bang, that's all you're grabbing. You need toiletries, bang, that's all you're grabbing. So much easier, so little fuss. Um, it's better than rooting around, messing everything up again. You know everything's tidy up space, it's a space saver and all that stuff. So now you know exactly where everything should be. It's always good to have multiple of these guys and I usually end up sharing with the wife. I usually bring um, like a plastic bag, a heavy duty plastic bag. Uh, for anything that's dirty and stuff like that, you want to keep them separate. What you want to do, you want to make sure you keep them separate from all your clean clothes, especially if they're sharing the same space. If they're sharing your luggage space or your backpack space, or even if you're just out and about, you don't want your clothes to be smelling like uh, like you've been going for a week. You want to have some clean clothes at all times of the day and stuff like that. Another thing I also like to carry is something personally for me. Uh, it's my personal carry. I usually usually carried a backpack before, but I'm already wearing a backpack. So I have a shoulder bag. I know it looks like a giant purse for guys, it is. The coolest thing about this is that it has two main compartments. So one compartment uh, is a little bit smaller. You can usually use for your tablets or if you have documents or papers, anything like that, you can totally use it for that. That's what I'm gonna be using it for. Uh, there's another big pouch right here with a bunch of small pockets so I can fit a couple more other papers, change of money if I need to, power banks, and stuff like that. And um, anything souvenirs, I can bring like a couple of balls of water, a sandwich, like a small meal. Especially if you're gonna go on a trip, if you're gonna go on like low cost trips, of course, is what I do. Uh, you gotta pack your lunch, or pack your dinner, or whatever it may be. It also uh, has really quick fast pouch. Anything small, cables, if you have a smaller battery pack you want to get to, you have medications you need to get to, totally handy to have. Another cool thing is it's got this one on the back. And in fact, it only has just one piece of Velcro right in the middle. You can still shove your hand in there, grab what you need. If you need to grab a tripod mount or if you have something else or like a small little gimbal or anything like that, you can totally fit it back there stuff and stuff like that. The coolest thing is right now at the bottom of this, it has a little leather piece. 
so when it actually does hit the floor or when you're sitting it down or wherever it may be because you know your bags and all your stuff's gonna get a little bit of wear and tear that's exactly how how traveling works sometimes it'll wear and tear you don't take care of your stuff sometimes but it will protect your bag which is what i like about this one especially and uh it's easy to see it's easy to notice a couple two tones stuff like that most likely i'll be putting a couple patches on here just so i know it's mine so if i do lose it i can see it or if I, you know if something happens to it i know exactly where it is uh easily a must thing it's not too big it's big enough to be a personal carry it's not considered carry-on luggage so that's always a cool thing and once you have all your stuff stored in the plane above you like you like well, i'll have my bag stored up there up there of course uh it'd be really hard to get to and this is just small enough for the things that i need headphones or something like that or if you want a sleeping mask boom you can have it with you ready to go easy to use Always one of those things. Don't forget, most planes you can take on uh, your check luggage if you've already checked it and paid for that. We usually get your carry-on luggage as well and you get one piece of personal care. I know it sounds like a lot of bags, but I can even use this as a day bag, which is kind of a cool thing. I'm not going very far if I'm not doing a lot. Uh, I can take this with me, it's totally fine, and it's great, I love it to death. Also, if I'm going on a much longer trip or I need to bring more things with me, or if it's gonna be a little bit more taxing where I do need to bring a bunch of things or I know I will be getting a lot of stuff that personal carry won't be enough to carry with me so with me I actually carry a backpack and this one's really cool I actually enjoy it quite a lot uh, to each their own of course uh, this is by Core Designs you've probably seen it on um, you've probably seen it in stores everywhere you probably saw the Kickstarter for it this is fun this is awesome uh, it's slash proof on the outside, locks on the top, pretty cool, stuff like that, a bunch of hidden compartments and all. Um, I like it a lot, it fits on my back, it fits really small. I am probably gonna pack this away in my luggage when I do and then take it out when I wanna travel very far or if I am doing it a completely, completely day long where I start at seven in the morning, not coming back till really late at night. I'm gonna wanna keep this with me so I can, you know, grab my souvenirs that I always want, or if the wife wants me to carry something for her or whatever it feels like, uh, this bag is very safe. Uh, TC friendly, so the TCA needs to get in there really fast. Boom, bang, you're, you're ready to go. If you guys want me to do a review of what I personally think of this bag, uh, feel free to leave a comment down below or anything like that. I will totally let you know. I've had this bag for like the last six months. I took it with me on my last trip to Greece, London, and the Czech Republic, and it was amazing. I felt safe. It's got a bunch of cool little features. I won't tell you about them right now because this video is getting a little long, but there are a lot of cool things that I really like about this bag, and I got it for a really good price, especially here in Canada. And I'll let you know what I what I think about this in a later video if you guys want. So comment down below. Let me know, and I'm more than happy to oblige. All right.